This brings us to the end of our section looking at design principles. So what are our takeaways? Well, in terms of the various topics that we've gone around, we started off probably with the most important point that when we're designing an interface, we base that around the user. That's our focus. We want to understand what the user's goals are, what their mental model is for the particular activity that they're doing. And from that, how does the software present itself? What is its represented model in terms of how it sets itself forward to interact with the user? Of course, behind that we'll have the implementation model about how it does things. But almost we want to hide any aspect of the implementation model that doesn't map on to what the user is expecting. I'm going to try to make things as simple as possible for the user and as closely aligned with their mental model. We highlighted the importance of understanding the device that we're using. What is its physical characteristics? What are the environment that the user find themselves in when they're using the device? And what type of posture they're going to use the device in? And through this, we also touched upon the idea of affordances as very powerful visual cues as to how different elements or objects can potentially be used that our users we know will rely upon using. After that we went on to look at a number of quite practical pieces of advice about how we can design a and structure a visual interface all about providing a hierarchy in terms of our arrangement and our layout about how we can direct the user's attention through that hierarchy. We thought about well, for displaying information graphically, visually, how can we do that again most effectively to, to ease any cognitive load or any cognitive burden on the user? And we finished up really linking out to a very rich and deep set of additional or further reading in terms of uh, different types of interest, interface design pattern that is available uh, and also then to think about the the guidelines, the requirements that are defined for different common platforms in which our software runs. So there's there's a fair amount in this. It's it it is really sort of introduced through the, 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 this particular coverage, and there's an awful lot of additional information you can delve into in terms of exploring. But at a high level, we want to try to make use of these principles because they will help us better define and shape our interfaces both in terms of, of how they interact with the user and, and also in terms of how they appear and how they are structured. Next section we're going to go on to, to look at a little bit more in terms of some specific approaches we can use to, to both capture and model what the user wants and also then some practical advice and guidance in, in terms of how do we display information, how do we reduce errors and, and so on.